Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is continue to take a look at post processors within 1CNC. Now, in the last video, we stated that post processors are what create the CNC code. We also took a look at how easy it is to take a post processor and perform edits. Well, let's take it a step further in this video and let's take a look at variables. Now, if you remember, to edit a post processor, one of the ways to do that is come up here to the toolpath group and just double click. From there, you want to select the post processor that you want to make edits to. Well, we're working with this post called Fanuc OT Sample, so I'll select that. And then we're going to click Setup. Once we do that, we can click on the posting format, and here we can perform our edits. Now let's take a look at the format or the CNC code that's going to be output at the very beginning and end of the CNC program. Now in the last video, we hard-coded the G0, G20, G90. But what I want to bring your attention to now is over on the right-hand side, this is a list of variables. And notice that as I click on a variable, down here it shows me the actual code or the syntax of that variable. Notice how the variable is surrounded by curly brackets. Now for example, here's a variable here called time of creation. That's going to designate the time that the CNC program was generated. Well, let's say that I want to output the time of creation right after the G0, G20, G90. Well, I'm going to hit the Enter key, make sure my cursor is right there, and then with the time of creation variable selected, I can click Insert, and one CNC will take the code and place it right where the cursor was. And again, notice how the variable is surrounded by curly brackets. Now, if you don't want to use the Insert button, you can certainly type this in by hand. Just make sure that you enclose the variable within curly brackets. Now, I want the control on the CNC to treat this as a comment. So I'm going to add a left paren and a right paren, just like that. Now, variables can be added to both the start lines or end lines. It makes no difference. Why don't we add another variable? I'm going to hit the Enter key again, make sure my cursor is right here, and let's insert this option called 1CNC version. With that selected, I'll click Insert, and then 1CNC puts that variable right there. Again, I want to have the control treat that as a comment, so let's add a left paren and a right paren. Very good. All right, let's click OK. 1CNC compiles the post processor, and now let's generate the program. So we'll select Post, Save. I'm going to click Yes, and we'll take a look at the code. Now here you can see this is the time that the CNC code was generated. Very good. Here shows the actual version of 1CNC that's being used. Now this looks good, but I don't like the fact that 1CNC is placing a number in front of the comments. So let's take care of that. We're going to close this down. Go back into the editor by double-clicking. Here we'll click Setup. But this time, instead of going into posting format, let's take a look at line numbering. Now down here, notice it says start characters not to be numbered. In other words, which characters do you not want a line number in front of? Well, I don't want line numbering in front of the left paren. So I'm going to type in a left paren right there. At the same time, why don't we change the increment of the line numbering? Let's change that to 5 and 5. I think that looks great, so we'll click OK. Let's post this out. We'll click Save. And now you can see that 1CNC has removed the line numbering for all the comments. Also notice how the CNC code is now increment by 5. All right, very good. Now in the next video, we'll perform some more edits. Until then, thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.